days all year round. So it's largely held at the, um, the, the bigger championship shows, but it can be held at any number of championship shows. The idea is that the dogs should all, well, they must all be bred by one breeder, by the same breeder. They're not necessarily owned by the same breeder, though they could be owned by a number of different people. Um, and the aim is that uh, the judge is looking for dogs of a similarly good type. So they're looking for good dogs, good examples of that breed. They may not necessarily all be identical, so that's not the idea at all. Um, they should just all be very good representatives of their breed. And although we see a lot of people who compete wearing the same outfits and so on, which makes it look, you know, a bit more of a spectacle, that actually shouldn't be influencing the, the uh, judge's choice in this. So this competition actually is run over a whole season. Um, breeders will win points at different shows and eventually they qualify. If they win enough points, they qualify to come to Crufts. Once they're here, they have to take part in qualifying heats because as you can see, there are an awful lot of dogs taking part, lots of teams. So actually winning through to the final and then winning overall is a really, really big thing. They've, they've really achieved something. Going over Winner. towards the Poms. Well, what a run of success there for the Pomeranians. Yesterday, the toy group. Today, the Breeders' Championship. The Breeders' Competition Final. The La Riva Pomeranians. <laughs> it's amazing. It's been a really good win. Well, absolutely all of us over the moon. We. You, you enter these competitions and we always hope you're going to win, but obviously to win it is lovely. Yeah, marvellous. Well, when the judge was making the final decision, we were all concentrating on making sure the dogs were actually standing properly and were doing what they should do. And to be honest, you haven't time to really even notice. And I was aware the judge was coming towards us, but I didn't realise he was heading for us until the last minute. So. A sign of a good breeder is producing high quality stock of recognisable type year after year. And, and today in that main ring, we saw 45 groups of, of top breeders who have produced high quality animals, recognisable for, for their distinctive breeds and also for their kennel type. All of these go through breed competition as well and they've all done very well as individuals within the breed but when we put them together collectively as the breeders they're basically representing their kennel as against themselves individually and so they, because they were all bred by Lyriva they are representing the Lyriva kennel uh, collectively and although these are the four we've chosen to use at Crufts Sometimes it might be a slightly different lineup from show to show, just like a, a football team might put through, you know, their A team one time and drop somebody else in to give them a try at another time. Mouse has actually had a litter during the year, and so although she started the year, she then had to retire from maternity duties, and so one of the younger girls stepped in and filled her place for a while. <laughs> 